so much because we still think that we are a debtor of the flesh. Amen. See, if you owe somebody something, what are you called? A debtor. You're a debtor. Amen. If you owe money in the bank, who are you? You're a debtor, right? That's right. So it means that the bank requires you to pay back that money because you owe them back. Amen. Amen. That's right. That's right. You see what I mean? But we are not a debtor of the flesh. It means that we don't owe the flesh nothing. Amen. Because Christ only came and paid the price of the flesh. That's right. Amen. God, re God repaid it. He only gave the, his body unto flesh. Amen. He gave his body and said, you know what? Let me die for them. Amen. Let me pay the price of the flesh. Amen. So now we don't have to owe the flesh nothing. We don't have to owe the flesh. It means that whatever the flesh tells you to do, you are not indebted to do it. It means that you are not supposed to. He, he doesn't force you because, you know, like the, 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 the uh, bill payers, they call you and say, guess what? You got to pay back our money. You owe us, right? You got to pay back our money, yeah. right? Yeah. Now, the, the problem is that nobody has gone to pay them that debt. That's why they're still calling you. That you have to pay them the money. But if somebody come behind your back and pay them that day, how can they call you and ask you for money when he has already paid it? Amen. 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 And that's what Christ did. Christ came and paid our debt of the flesh. That's why he said, that's why the Lord said, therefore, brethren, we are debitor, not to the flesh. Not to the flesh. We are debtors not to the flesh. But to live according to it. But we're not indebted to live because we are made of the flesh. We can't deny the fact that we are not fleshy people. We are made of it. You see what I mean? But he says, even though you're, you're made of it, doesn't mean that you're going to live according to it. Amen. Because if you live according to it, you're going to die. Because it's going to make you sin. And the wages of sin is death. death. You got to die. You got to die. If you sin, you got to die. You got to die. You're liable to die. Amen? Amen. But if you, he said, as many, look at verse 14. Read that, Rev. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, those are sons of God. That's right. And if you're led by the Spirit of God, then you're the Son of God. Amen. But if you're led by the Spirit of the flesh, guess what? Then you're bound to die. Verse 13. Read it. Amen. Amen. Read verse 13. 13. Oh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you will put to death the deeds of the body, 